Hello there, it's Janique with you. Welcome back to another Mat Pilates practice. I'm so excited, we're gonna be doing a level two floor mat today. I've put my AC off so it's quite warm in here. I'm looking forward to be sweaty. I hope that you're ready as well. So um, we've been talking about the feet the last two weeks and I'm gonna continue with that. My goal is to be able to do deep squat with flat feet and to come back from a rolling like a ball into a flat feet. So I'm gonna work on that. So that means we need to think about how the ankle is bending because the ankle bends allow fluidity for the movement and your knees to function the right way. And when we have stiff ankles, this resonate back to our knees. We have stiff knees and we have stiff hips. So therefore, we are gonna look the way of the ankle bends and the way it uh, connects to uh, the knees and the hips and the way you move your legs out and in of your center. So that's our awareness. Uh, I've already softened my feet on my Yamuna ball. If you need to do a little bit of ball workout, make sure you do that and then I'll join you down on the mat. All right, we're gonna start on the back with some ankle bending exercises. So I'm just gonna point and flex my ankles like that. So it allows my leg to become alive, my knees, my hip all the way to the lower abs and lower back. Then I'm gonna keep my ankle bending and start with some arm circles. Three, three repetition, inhale, exhale. Last round, exhale, change direction. Exhale, deep breath in, exhale, last round and exhale and now we point so let your ankles open in the front and that will give you a little bit of lift in the calves and a little stretch in your shins we inhale last round change direction inhale Last round in and exhale. Then we bring the arms down. We're gonna be ready for the hundreds. So the foot is a soft point. It's not overstretching or over bending for now. And for me, I'm looking for the, the uh, connection of the back of the leg, which is the hamstring. For this to arrive, for this to awaken, I need to let go of the leg and feel like my legs are resting on the mat from the hamstring and the calves, and then the lower abs in. So you're gonna inhale, bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Now I feel my hamstring turned on, and I'm gonna exhale, and it, Arms up, now the ankles will bend, we'll do five roll-ups. Allow your knees to not lock and block down. We're gonna inhale, lift, go up, exhale, forward, inhale, exhale, deep breath in, exhale, Your awareness stays around your ankles, staying on your hamstrings, staying on your shins. Two more rounds. Last breath. Then we're gonna start with the left leg for the leg circles today. Squeeze your leg in, flex your right ankle, deep breath in. You keep your other leg as a support as you counterbalance the other side and you bring your leg up, inhale. Exhale. 
and then we're gonna circle a little bit and reverse and then keep the leg there suspended away so the foot and the shins are going that way and the leg, the hips is sinking down. Then we inhale. <sighs> Breathe in, rubric. <sighs> I'm thinking my spine is moving like a Rubik, Rubik cube. <sighs> Two more rounds. <sighs> Last breath in. <sighs> Change direction. Within two last round, exhale, bend the knee, change side, leg up, stretch the calves and the shins, and sink the hip down, flex point. Circle the ankle. The breathing can always allow you to relax, to soften, and to engage. So always connect to your breath. Your arms down, you inhale. Even though we are doing a pace class, we can still feel muscle deeper in our bodies. Two. Last round. Change. Breathe in. Last breath in, exhale, bend the knee towards your chest, both knees in, exhale up to sitting. We're going to stay here because I'm already connected, bring the shin close to our body, breathe in, lift the legs up a little bit, exhale. Then now I'm ready, I feel the legs are connected to my deep, deep hips muscles and my abs muscles. Eight times. Last two. Last breath. You're gonna stretch your right leg down. Stomach series. Pull the leg towards you. So again, we're trying to get the hip to deep squat. Pull the breath. And we go. One, two. Exhale. Both knees in, then. Last breath. In. Exhale. You want your legs to move from your hips deep inside your abdominal, exhale, and last breath, and then exhale, both legs up. Once you watch this video and if you find it helpful, press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be my pleasure to give you more videos every week. You can also share this video around with one of your family members. So again, imagine like if you watch my corkscrew and my knee sways from last week, I've been working on trying to let the, the leg be part of a very deeper connection in the hips versus when I stand my leg, my legs work really hard. So here's the same thing. So we go from that knee sways, right? We arrive here. There are the legs sinking way down the sacrum. Hands at the back of your head, inhale, exhale, last round, 
and exhale. I hope that makes sense for you. So basically, you know, when we find the hip ankles flexion, we want to feel the hips are holding our legs for us versus the legs are actually working way too hard. So we want to stay on the pelvis, we inhale, we expand the ribs, we exhale. We on the hips, the sacrum comes up, and we arrive right against the wall. We exhale, we sink the abs deeper, and the hip stays neutral, the spine opens. And we exhale. Last round, exhale. And then grab the ankles. You know, the open leg rocker is a very interesting exercise because it comes when you're ready to start balancing on your balancing out of your rolling like a ball. Let's put it like that. So this is our rolling like a ball, right? We're learning to engage the abs and move the spine. We're learning to open, bend, open the spine, bend the spine, curl the spine. They mean all the same thing, depending how you're looking at it. So when the spine is open, we can engage the abs better because we feel longer instead of a squishy little collapsed spine. Our spine is meant to expand really big because we have muscles on each bones, each vertebrae connecting to the body. So when the spine is strong, it can be bendy, but strong, not collapse. So rolling like a ball exercise does that to our body, it expands the spine and helps us breathe, open spaces that we probably are tight in our body. So then we are learning to move from that rolling like a ball. So when you are doing your open leg rocker, you're trying to extend both legs out of a connected ab strength. And then when you exhale, we bend the knees and we stay in that connection. And then we exhale back in there. We're going to do last round and I'm going to rock back. Exhale. Then we're going to keep the legs up. Inhale. We're going to rock back. We're going to come forward. Last breath. Then we bend the knees and we lay down on the back. Okay, the corkscrew. So again, we need to let the hips drop down into, the legs drop down into the pelvis, so the pelvis then can carry the leg for us. So we tick-tock, we inhale to the right, we exhale to the left. So again, if you've, you've never done that one before and you're under knee sways, the last two weeks were more of where I explain how to do this. Inhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Last round in. And then exhale, bend the knees. Then we're gonna do so so. Ankles are flexed. Breathe in, your chest get really big, twist your exhale. Breathe in, now you stay on those hips and you move your spine out of those hips. 
When your hips feel dynamically strong, your spine can feel free to move. Last set. And then come back to sitting. Swan. Head down, chest down. So now again, you're trying to connect to your hip strength to, so that your legs are part of those hip strength all the way to your ab strength. You inhale, you lift your chest. You get your spine to come up because your hips are carrying you. You exhale, you go down. Then you exhale. Big inhale, you carry your chest. And then you exhale down. Last breath. And you exhale down. And you place your forearms down on your mat. You're going to keep your fist strong, deep breath in. You're going to bend your knee twice towards your, bend your leg twice and kick your heel to your bum. So now you have that abdominal lifted in your spine. One, two. One, two. Breathe in, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, last breath. Exhale. Then we're gonna do both legs forward, right ear on the mat. Good. Then you're gonna pick your knees, you're gonna do three kicks. One, two, three, that's your exhalation. You stay on your hamstring as you straighten your legs, you lift your chest in the head. And then you exhale, two, three. You lift your shoulders and chest and you are on your hamstring. Exhale, two, three. Your whole body come up on your legs. And you exhale, two, three. You lift your chest, your back, your spine. One more set. Last breath in. And exhale, two, three, good. Then you can turn around, lay down on your back. You are on your feet, you slowly pick your, still feel the hamstring again, and then pick your knee, hips, hips into spine. And then your bum continues to come up and place you on your upper back. Then you exhale. You let your hamstring continues to carry your legs as your sacrum goes down. Inhale. Lift your hips, lift your waist, bring your body weight on your shoulders and back. Exhale. Just one more round, inhale, lift the hips, stand on your feet, lift your hamstring until you feel your hips and then exhale and then down. Arms are straight, hopefully you continue to feel your hamstring, your calf muscles. Side leg kicks. Stacking the hips, bone on bone. Lift the ribs, elbow up. Inhale, pick the right leg. We go one, two. Point back, back, flex. Inhale, one, two, point back, back. Inhale, two, exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, two more. Exhale. Last breath, exhale, bring your left leg on top of the right, inhale, 
Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more. Gonna lift with awareness. We're gonna lift our leg with awareness. Exhale. Reverse it. Inhale, flex. And then point, lower the leg with other muscles. Inhale. We will have more muscles than just hip. Exhale. Last one. And exhale down. We're gonna curl on the tummy. We're gonna cross up a Ankles on ankles, pick the right leg up, inhale, one, two, exhale, inhale, one, two, exhale. So you want to think about how your leg is moving deep in your hips, forward, deep in your hips, backward, deep in your hips, Forward, deep in your hips, backward. Last round. Exhale, back. Then you take the leg on top. We inhale, we lift the leg. Exhale. Point the toe, slowly pick the leg. Pick the leg, pick the inner thighs. Exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, one more round. Exhale, we reverse, we flex up. And point down. And we point down, last round. And we exhale. All right, teaser, balance on your sit bones. Curl the pelvis. You are basically now on your sacrum, for me at least, I am. And the leg floats up. We're gonna inhale. We're gonna exhale. Last round. Legs down. All right, see ya. Grab the heels. <sighs> Big breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Two more. Last round. And we're gonna squat down. So like I said, I'm not ready to do yet. Transitioning in a deep squat. So I'm gonna do some quad squat exercise. We're gonna inhale, raise the heels. Oops. We're gonna go down. We're gonna flat feet. We're gonna exhale. We're gonna go down. Flat feet and we're up. And today was a flow class, so we cut some reps, wanted to keep it short, wanted to keep it steamy. The goal is to always move, no matter what, you can always work on something. Keep moving, get the heat, feel good about your body. Stay consistent, keep practicing. This is what feels good, movement. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.